the greatest benefit of being a member of IADC uh, is the uh, professional and personal network uh, that you can develop and that I've developed like so many other members of the organization. And obviously the best way to develop those relationships is to be an active and engaged member. That means uh, attending meetings, coming to the mid-year or the annual meetings, coming to the Corporate Council College, Professional Liability Roundtable, even regional meetings. And uh, that's the really the best way to get to know others, have them get to know you, and develop the trust that will help facilitate you know, a, a more valuable experience within the IADC. I could talk at length about the you know, wonderful personal relationships and friendships that my family and I have made through the IADC, but that really is just an ancillary benefit uh, to the professional benefits that uh, come from being a member of this organization. And certainly receiving referrals or being a resource for your colleagues uh, is important and a great uh, asset, but I'd like to talk about the benefit of outbound referrals uh, to my practice. For one of my clients, I manage their product liability litigation in North America, which means we get sued in uh, lawsuits or named in claims uh, all across the United States and Canada. And when that happens in a state that uh, there's not a lawyer from my firm uh, licensed in, I know that means I get to work with an IEDC friend. And uh, for most of those uh, occasions, it means I get to call up an existing friend and get to work with them. But if it, there's even been uh, cases where uh, if it's in a state where I don't already have a relationship, I've used the directory. And being able to know that you can automatically trust the quality uh, and the integrity uh, of that lawyer to work with is uh, it's a great service to my client and, uh, and gives me a lot of comfort uh, as counsel. And so being able to work with fellow IADC members and to continue to develop and strengthen those professional and personal relationships is why I always try to think IADC first. I think, uh, you know, as a new member, uh, this is an organization where uh, all you've really got to do is raise your hand and say, you know, express interest in getting involved. I would start at the substantive committee level and uh, attending uh, the monthly calls. Uh, offering uh, to speak, to write for newsletters, uh, as a way of uh, getting uh, to know fellow members and, and demonstrating your expertise uh, is a great way to do it. And frankly, we've got uh, other tools to help, uh, to help you get kind of integrated into the organization, one of which is the membership spotlight. There's a link on the IADC uh, website to be able to complete uh, fewer than 10 questions just to help people learn a little bit about you uh, as a person and as a lawyer. And so I think that is kind of some of the low-hanging fruit for how to start to get involved as a newer member.